Uh, in other news then, the inaugural uh, Don Matera lecture uh, will take place this afternoon in Santon under the theme, uh, The Child in 2030. Uh, Donato Francesco Matera is a poet, writer and anti-apartheid activist. He helped uh, found the Union of uh, Black Journalists. He, he celebrated autobiography, Memory is a Weapon, narrates the events of Safari Town in, 19, in the 1950s. Let's uh, take a look at his life. Donato Francesco Matera. My Tswana name is Munapule Lebake. I was here born in 1935. Two others now. Western Native Township. At the age of six years, three months of the train, with a great board, so my name is Don Matera. I am going to Seven St. Teresa's Road, St. Teresa's Church. Be kind to me in this train. But coming home, there was nothing to wait for me at the station. And at the age of eight, Skrafek Kla Atom, to the felt I would like to wander. There where sun sets a golden splendor, where honey bees hum sweet melodies and the white felt flowers scent the morning breeze. Oh, how my heart there longs to roam to that wide open world that is my home and to hear birds sing of a time to come when I will be the one that flies. The name is Don Zinga, the name of the ghetto, the name of the streets. Makes me happy when I think of Safaya Town. What made it so unique was the fact that so many people of so many different hues, colors, religion, of all different cultural backgrounds could live together in this place, Kofifi. Because I had a white grandfather, some guy had a Scottish grandfather, the other guy had a French grandfather, the other guy had a Zulu grandfather. But we all lived together and we shared the hopes and the anguish that the people share. In a, in a society that's bedeviled by race. But Safaya Town overcame in many respects that race and that prejudice. I became a Muslim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah.